So we're just going to begin today in taking our three-part belly breath. So bring your hands either onto your knees or in your lap or just in a relaxed position, hands down or up, whatever feels good to you. And again, sitting comfortably, you can sit on your knees and you can even lie down if you feel like that's what you want to do today. So when we come into a restorative practice, we are learning to go to be intuitive with our bodies. So learning what does our bodies, what do our bodies want? So right now, what is your body asking for? Sometimes we want a little more movement. Sometimes we want a little more stillness. So start to recognize that as you move through your practice tonight. Okay. And we're going to start to deepen our inhale and exhale. And check in with your posture. Make sure that you're sitting tall. That allows the most capacity for your lungs. When you're hunching forward and rounding the shoulder, this collapses your lungs. They cannot expand as much. So sit tall, relax the shoulders, lift the crown of the head and draw your belly in. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Feel your belly expand out. Feel your rib cage expand and open. Take the breath all the way to the top of your throat. And then you'll exhale through the top of your throat, your chest, your ribs, and your belly. So draw the belly button in, pull it in, press out all the air, and start again. Inhale, belly expands. Expansion through the ribs, the chest, all the way up to the top of the throat. And exhale, throat, chest, ribs contract, belly draws in. So continue with this deep belly breathing. Let your shoulders relax. Sometimes when we start breathing, we wanna use our shoulders to inhale or use for the breath. So just let them relax. Notice how your lungs expand on the front, the sides, and the back all the way. 360 degrees all the way around. More than ever right now, we really want to focus on our lung health. So that when we do come down with illnesses that affect our lungs, we're able to just continue to take deep breaths. Our lungs can be strong. Deeper the breath you take. Let's take a couple more rounds of this deep breath. And as you practice tonight, you don't have to continue with this um, deep belly breath, but I want you to at least keep your breath slow and steady and as deep as you can take it. So it doesn't have to be quite as much, but still try not to let it become shallow into the upper part of your lungs. And let's go ahead and open the eyes. And we'll just do a little warming up here with the upper body. Let's inhale. Well, if you have some blocks, you can bring them on either side of you or books if you want. And we're going to inhale and we're going to take our arms up overhead. So really reach up nice and long. Keep the shoulders down. And we're going to side bend to the right. So exhale, right hand down, left arm reaches over. So my sit bones are going to stay anchored. I'm not going to rock up. I'm going to keep it down. And then inhale back to center. And let's exhale to the left. Inhale, center. So you're keeping your core engaged, drawing the belly in. Exhale to the side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the left. 
So you can see my shoulders are staying open. I'm not collapsing forward. Let's do one more of these on each side. And exhale. Good. Inhale, both arms come back up. Let's take a little twist here, easy twist. Let's exhale to the right. So our left hand comes onto our right knee. Our right hand comes directly behind us. Place your fingertips on the floor and then just open and rotate your shoulders. And if you'd like, you can turn your head all the way to the back. So as always, I will remind you, take this to your own range of motion. You never have to force your body to go anywhere. So just take it easy, nice and slow as your body relaxes. It'll allow you to go a little deeper. Then you can move into that space, okay? But don't force it. Let's take one more breath here. And let's inhale and bring both arms back up through center. And we'll exhale, take it to the other side. So to the left. Uh, right hand on the left knee now, so you can have a little leverage here. Shoulders stay square, spine is tall. Hands behind you on the floor, so you can use both hands to give yourself a little twist. And then you can um, complete the twist by turning the head all the way to the back. Let's take two more breaths. And let's inhale, bring both arms back up through center. And we're gonna exhale and bring the hands behind us and bring them fingertips onto the floor. And we're just gonna kind of lean back here. I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together. So you're opening up your chest, kind of pop your chest up a little bit. Look up if that's comfortable for you. A little easy chest expansion here. And then we're gonna inhale, release from that, come back up. And we're gonna take a forward fold. So fingers come forward now and start to crawl those fingers out, lengthening through the spine. So my spine is gonna stay long as I reach forward, okay? My head is in line with my spine. I'm gonna to go to my range of motion, wherever that is, and then go ahead and relax the shoulders. Relax the head, that just means just let it go. You're not pushing your head down or anything. It's just kind of hanging out there. And let's take one more deep breath in. Exhale, release, pull your belly in. So keep your core engaged to lift up. Good, let's switch our legs now. So bring the other leg forward. So this will be your awkward seated position. We're gonna do the same thing again on both sides. All right, so we're gonna inhale, reach those arms up. This time we'll start to the left, exhale. Uh, left hand down, right arm reaches over, drop the shoulder away from the ear. You can look up at your hand or just keep your head neutral. Inhale, come back up. Exhale to the other side. Lengthen out, drop the hips, inhale up, lengthen out, exhale, side bend. Inhale, reach up, exhale over. Inhale, let's take one more on each side. And bring it up. Last one here. Exhale. Inhale up. Coming into that twist. This time we're going to the left. Right hand on the left knee. Left hand, fingertips behind you. Start to move into that twist. Lift up nice and tall. Start to look over the back shoulder. 
to keep your belly engaged. Keep drawing it in. That will protect your spine. And we also don't want to twist too much through our hips. We want this to come from the torso, from the body. Let's take one more breath. On your exhale, unwind. Bring the arms back up through center. Exhale to the right. Now your left hand is on your right knee. Right hand all the way back, fingertips on the floor. Lift and then start to twist. Turn the head. So you're still breathing here. Even in your twist, you're taking deep breaths. You're going to feel mostly the expansion in the back of your lungs, on your back. 70% of your lungs are on the back side of your body. And let's inhale, come back up. Reach tall. Exhale, fingers come behind you. Fingertips or even the palms. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift your heart up and open. Chin lifts if that's comfortable. Don't strain your neck though. And let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, release, come up. And we're gonna bring those hands forward. Walk into your forward fold. Again, long spine. So we're sinking in through the hips here. Lengthening out. Relax the neck and shoulders. And let's take a deep inhale. Exhale, start to stack your spine one vertebrae at a time. As you come all the way up, roll your shoulders up and down a few times. Let's go ahead and roll the head side to side. So chin comes down towards the chest, ear to the shoulder, chin back down, exhale, inhale, lift it up. Again, your shoulders are relaxed. They're not participating here. Just moving through your cervical spine. Let's take one more on each side. So just finish up so you're even. And head comes back down to center and Lift it back up. Okay, we're gonna move on to our hands and knees next. So if your knees are sensitive, you can um, make sure you have enough padding. If you're on carpet, you're probably fine. If you're on a hard floor, make sure you have your yoga mat or folded up blanket here for your knees. So we can make sure they're not grinding into the mat. So let's come on to our hands and knees. We're gonna do a cat-cow variation tonight. So we're going to take our leg, go ahead and take your left leg and extend it out. So it's just your, line, your ankle's in line with your hip here. You can press your foot down onto the floor. If that's not doable, you can leave the toes up. Otherwise, try to kind of find a little anchor there with your foot. Even out the weight in both legs, knee and left foot. And let's go ahead and move into our cat-cow. So as you inhale, you're going to lift your tailbone up and then lift your heart and lift your chin. So arching the spine. As you exhale, you're gonna pull up through your belly, tuck your tailbone under, and drop your head to your cat. So arching into cat. Inhale, cow, and exhale, cat. Remember, if this doesn't feel good with your leg out, just you can always just keep it in. Inhale, lift, exhale, draw it in. Inhale, exhale. So really push through the shoulder blades, push through the fingertips and open through the shoulder blades. 
This is such a good movement for the whole spine. Articulating our spine. All right, we are coming into a child's pose now. So in this variation, we're gonna sit back onto our heel all the way down. Option is to use your block, your pillow, or your books, whatever you have. You can always sit on those a little bit to get your hips up. If your knee is feeling sensitive, you can roll up your blanket and put it behind your knee. And we're gonna sit back and come into child's pose. So I'm gonna extend my arms long. Also, you can use your pillow underneath your chest here, and you can also use blocks, one under the chest, one under the forehead, okay? So you can always just support yourself with any props that you have. So you wanna be able to kind of relax into this. So use whatever you have available to you. Start to settle in here and surrender. Once you find your position, I want you to try to find the stillness there. Try not to fidget as much as you can. Unless you are feeling too much sensation, then just back away from it a little bit. Take one more deep breath here. On your exhale, engage your core. Start to bring yourself back up, all the way up. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of a twist here. So we're gonna keep the leg out. I'm gonna take our right arm and reach it up to the sky. So we're twisting, open. And then we're gonna exhale and bring that right arm all the way down and come down onto the shoulder. So you can stay up with your hip up, or you can drop back down again and come into your child pose variation. So if you need some relief from your knee, come up all the way. Choose one and begin again to surrender here. So now we're finding a little bit of a twist. One more deep breath in. If you're sitting back, exhale, bring your hand in so you can press up, release your right arm, take that twist up to the sky, nice and slow. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Let's draw the left leg in. So I want you to bring your knees together to touch. We're gonna just do hip sways side to side. So as you bring the hips over, just take a little um, look over your shoulder and then to the other side. Uh, 
Okay, when you feel good and complete in your movement, we're gonna take it the other side. This time, the right leg goes out. See if you can place the foot all the way down, your ankles in line with your hip. Hands are underneath your shoulders or slightly forward. So we don't want our arms back here. We want them right under the shoulder. Now we're gonna take that cat cow. So inhale for cow, lift the sit bones up, lift the heart and chin. Exhale, draw it in, pull that belly in, round through the spine, shoulder blades open, tailbone tucks. Inhale, open to cow. Exhale, cat. Nice deep breaths. Use all of your inhale and exhale as you move. Take one more round. And we will move into that child's pose. So now we're gonna start to sit back, keeping that right leg out. Sit all the way down. Now remember options here. This is a different leg, might react differently. So if you need to stay up, you can. You can stay up here or you can use the blanket behind your knee or maybe you have another pillow you can place there. And settle in. Forehead comes down. And again, if you want to use a bolster or your big pillow, you could place it right underneath your body. Then turn your head towards your leg. The bolster is definitely a nice, or pillow or bolster is a nice option. Otherwise, forehead comes down onto the mat or again, a block. Use your breath to surrender into the pose. So if you find yourself struggling or fighting with it, maybe move out of it a little bit and then go back into a place where it's just not quite as much sensation. Allow your jaw to relax, softening your face. The breath should come easy, not strained or short. Take one more deep breath in. On your exhale, we're gonna come back up, all the way up, keep the leg extended. We're gonna take that twist with the left arm now. So inhale, lift and open up. Exhale, let that arm come all the way through so it stays right in line with your shoulder. You're twisting and bringing your shoulder onto the mat and then your left ear will come onto the mat or pillow or a block. So if your head is feeling strained when it's coming all the way down, you need a block or something underneath it. Now you have the option of sitting back into your child's pose or staying up on that high knee. So take it where you need to be tonight.
Take one more deep breath here. And exhale, release. Use your hands. Release your left arm. Gently unwind, lift up and twist. Exhale, bring it down. Release that right leg in. Back to your knees, touching. And we'll do a few more of those hip sways. Sway side to side. You can even take it all the way into circles if that feels good to you. If you're circling, make sure you go the other direction. All right, finish up so you feel complete. And we're going to transition now to our next pose. So our next pose we're gonna do tonight is our supported fish pose. Now I'm gonna option, not everybody has yoga blocks, I realize that, so you have the option of using your pillow instead. I'm gonna show you two options here. Another option even is with your blanket, okay? So first option, let's just demonstrate with the bolster, which also you can use a, a, your pillow here. Um, if you want, you can increase the height of it by putting some books underneath it. If your pillow's really soft, you can always put your blanket to kind of give it a little more, a little more body if you'd like, if your pillow is soft. So reclining bound angle, it's a good option for fish pose. You can come down this way, hips touching, shoulders open. This is a back bend shoulder opener. Another option would be to turn your pillow or bolster long way. Drape your shoulders up and over. So now my bolster is really a, quite big. So it might even be just too much for me. So I'm going to use a, a something else for my head. So block, a book, make sure that I don't feel like too much is going on here. I can extend my arms out. Or if that's too much for my shoulders, hands here. All right, that's option number two. And finally, if you do have yoga blocks, you can take the fish pose on your yoga blocks. The first one is on medium, long way. So your spine is here, shoulder blades drape over the block. And if you're gonna go out and buy yourself some blocks, get the, don't get these skinny ones. Get the big wide, um, I think they're four inches, they're bigger. So don't get the little ones. There's just not as a lot of surface to, to lay on these. So a little more of a balancing act. So I'm gonna bring my spine onto the block and I'm gonna make sure it's coming right at the edge of my shoulder blade and it's right in the center. Try to make sure it's not crooked. And then the back of my head you can see is coming onto this block here. My hips are down, getting a nice back bend, opening here. And I'm gonna release my hands down, my knees can stay bent. I can do butterfly with my legs or long straight legs. So now you have an option here. Start to settle into your choice. Just any of those options that kind of help open up your shoulders where they can just relax and let gravity take, take over and just give you a nice stretch here. So this is our stretch for our posture to help improve our tech neck and the rounding of our upper spine and cervical spine. So I want you to start to surrender here. Close your eyes or lower your gaze, soften it. If you have an eye pillow or cloth, you're welcome to use that on your eyes. Where are you holding on to tension? Scan through your body. 
let it release. Where are you tightening? So many times we tighten muscles in our body without even being aware of it. This is your chance to be aware. And take one more deep breath in. Now in whatever pose you're in, on your blocks or your pillow or on your mat, I want you to bend your knees first. I want you to roll to one side. Take your time. I'm coming off my blocks. Come off your pillow. I want you to come all the way onto your mat. Bring the knees into the chest. Bring your arm out and underneath your head. Or you can, you can put your pillow under your head as well. That's fine. Tuck your chin to your chest, knees in, and just relax here in the fetal position. So we were just in a deep back bend. We want to give time for our spine to come back into a neutral place. And let's take one more deep breath here. And then you can bring yourself back up to seated. We're gonna set up for the next pose, which is going to be revolved abdomen pose. So if you have a block or a couple of um, pillows, we're gonna use our pillow blanket lower bolster. So again, I'm going to show you here, I'm going to take my blanket, kind of roll it, roll it up here. So it's just a nice long roll. Bolster, long ways on the mat. Go ahead and keep a block on either side of your mat. If you have another pillow, like if you have some smaller pillows, those work too. I'm going to come up onto my hips. We'll see if I can do this on this giant bolster. So I'm going to come onto my hip on the bolster. I'm going to use my blanket between my knee and ankle. So it's coming all the way down so that my hips are in a neutral position. Knees bent. I have the blanket all the way through my ankles and all the way between my knees. Now I'm coming all the way down onto my shoulders. So remember, my hips are on the bolster and they're stacked. My chest is off the bolster. I'm going to come all the way down onto the floor, onto my shoulder. Now, this is where you have to check in with your neck. If you need a little bit of support here, put another blanket, block, pillow, whatever you have under your head. Now, I'm going to take both of my hands and bring them together. So now my shoulders are stacked. My hips are stacked. I'm going to open up. Inhale. We're going to open that arm up. Rotate it open, and then exhale, rotate it back down. Inhale, open up, 
Just opening and twisting through the upper body. The hips are staying steady. Exhale, close. This time we're going to inhale and open up, and we're going to stay open. Now, option here, if you start feeling too much in your shoulder or your back, just rest your hand on your hip. Just let your shoulder kind of drop open here. Just remember your range of motion. If you have a little more, you can go all the way back. I have my block on this side. I can rest my, el my elbow on it or my underneath my shoulder. So see, this bolster is really kind of a little bit too big for me. So it's quite an intense twist for me. So if that's the case for you, you can always switch out, use the bolster between your knees, and use your blanket under your hips. So find a comfortable position. So you can start to turn your head away from your knees. So you can turn it towards your left hand. This is our revolved abdomen. So this is a twist. We're also getting some flex side flexion in the spine. And begin to surrender. Start to settle in here. Remember, if you start to feel too much sensation, you need to move out of it a little bit. You can always untwist a little bit, bring the hand onto your hip. One more deep breath. And on your exhale, head comes back to center. Bring that left arm all the way up and around. Just stay here for one breath. Now remember, we're going to move slowly. So we're going to start to bring our hands underneath us so we can push ourselves up. You can move your blanket. We're going to start to come onto our hands and knees. And then you can do some cat-cow movement, or you can take a little child's pose, stretch, just whatever feels good to release your body. That's up to you. Move in any direction or any way that you like that feels good. Or maybe even just coming onto your belly and resting in stillness. That's fine, too. All right, take one more breath with your movement. And then all you're gonna do is turn around and we'll come on to the other side. So when you're ready, make sure you have a block for your shoulder. On to the hips. Blanket is between the knee and the ankle. So the length of your leg on the hips. I'm gonna gently start to come down. Bring my arms straight out in front of me, stacking my shoulders. A little bit more up onto my hip here. All right. Take your right arm, bring your hands together. I'm going to inhale. Take the right arm up and open. Rotate your head. Rotate the shoulders. Exhale. Close the hands. Inhale, open up. Exhale, close. And now we're going to inhale and open and stay there. So find where you need to be on this side. If that's with the hand on the hip, just stay there. Remember, if you need support for your head, use the pillow, block, whatever you have. Otherwise, if you're ready for a little more, rotate the shoulders. Keep your hips stacked. Don't let them twist. Take the arms out. You can turn the head towards that arm if that is okay with your neck. 
Take any more little adjustments that you need and then just try to settle in here. Make sure that you're breathing deeply. As you focus and bring your awareness on your breath, that helps your body to relax. That helps to signal to your muscles to just release. Activate your parasympathetic nervous system. That fight or flight response allows your body to know that it's safe. It can just relax. That reduces the cortisol in our body. Let's take one more deep breath. On your exhale, right arm comes all the way back around. Stay here for a breath or two. And then let's bring the hands underneath us to start to move out of the pose. Go ahead and move the blanket. Rotate over onto your hands and knees. Take a few rounds of cat-cow. Or if you want, you can sit back in a child's pose. All right, any movement that feels good. When you're done with your movement, we are going to make our way onto our back now. So this one is, we're gonna stretch our legs now. So we're gonna use our strap here. So a strap, scarf, towel, whatever it is that you have. Anything will work that's long. Come all the way down onto your back, nice and easy. And let's just start with the knees into the chest. So full, first bring your knees in. So keep your hips on the mat. Pull the knees in. Notice how my hips stay down. Knees to chest. Oh, okay, Andy. <laughs> Sorry. Usually she doesn't join me. Go lay down. Come on. So hold those knees in. Give them a nice big hug. Come here. All right. Now we're going to bring the feet back down. Take your strap, scarf, towels, tie, whatever, dog leash. And we're going to take our right foot into the strap. Now, let's see, mine's really long. So go ahead and take that right foot in. Flex the toes gently. The toes should be facing your knee and should be facing your nose. Start to straighten out your leg. So the great thing, the reason we want to have a strap here if we're trying to reach with our hands, sometimes we're straining too much in the upper body. So the strap allows us to have the length that we need. Because most of us aren't going to have our knee resting on our nose, right? I, I don't think I'll ever be there, but we can start to stretch our hamstring. So it's important that we keep our legs stretched out and our hips stretched out so that we can um, keep our back healthy. When we have back pain, Sometimes it's just because our legs are tight, our hips are tight. So we just start drawing that leg in towards you. Now you can extend the left leg straight out if you want. Press the heel down, press the calf down. Relax through your shoulders. Now I want you to make sure you're moving into a place where you feel sensation. If you're just here and you don't feel anything, you're not going to have any changes in your body. But you don't have to pull so hard that you're just shaking and sweating and breathing hard. Just find a nice, easy um, sensation here. 50 to 70 percent. Okay. 
Let's take one more deep breath in. Exhale, bring the leg back to a neutral place. Zero sensation. We're going to come into a wide straddle now. So we're going to take the strap in our right hand, left hand onto the left hip, let the leg open out. Now, if you're almost to the floor, you can use your blocks, a book, you can rest the leg on it. But notice I'm keeping my left hip down. I'm not rocking open. So if you're rocking open, you need to press the hip down and not open the leg as much. And again, you can, you can lift the leg high. You can bring it down a little lower. Find your range of motion. Find in your own hip what feels good. We don't ever want to feel any bone-on-bone -bone compression in our hips, so check in with your body here. Let your shoulders relax. We have some tension in our arm because we're holding our leg here, so, but try to let the head and neck relax. Let's take one more deep breath in. And on your exhale, bring that leg up. Back into your, the center. Now we're going to take the strap in our left hand. And we're going to let the leg come across to halfway. So I'm not rocking up on my hip. I, my hips are still down. But my leg is moving only as far as it can go before your hip starts to lift. So just take it across halfway. You can bring your arm out for balance here if you'd like. And then again, notice you can pull the leg up higher or lower. Kind of see how your hip joint feels, what feels good. Should feel a nice piriformis stretch here. Let's take one more deep breath. Now we're going to let the leg all come over now. So we're going to twist. So let it come over. Now you can lift your hip up and even scoot and stack your hips. So scoot your hip to the right a little bit. Your hips start stacking up. My leg can stay straight here. Or if I'm finding that I need to bend it, that's an option. You can place your toe right behind your knee and put your hand on your knee. Keep your, arm, your right arm out and on the floor. Keep your head. You can turn your head to that right hand. So we're coming into our twist. Or your leg can stay straight. Whatever feels good to you. So we come into our stretches and holds for at least one minute. If we do any less, it's not enough time for our body to let go of that stress response, that initial reflex where the muscles tighten up to try to protect themselves. So we want to hold out, breathe. And let's take one more deep breath in. Exhale. Engage the core as you move. Bring the leg up. All the way. Bend your knee. Go ahead and move your strap. I want you to try to take both legs straight. Relax your arms on the floor. Head is centered, relax your legs, and just feel the difference of each side of your body. So you've stretched out the right leg and hip. Notice how that feels in comparison to your left side. Okay, let's take it on to the left now. So left foot comes in, knee in. Place the strap over your left foot. Start to extend it up. Straighten the leg. Toes and knees facing towards your face. Oh, you can start with your right knee bent if you would like here. Press your hip bones down. So keep this here as you draw the leg in towards the chest. You're going to notice one side of your body is going to be more flexible than the other side. That's normal. One side stronger. Relax your shoulders. So let them just relax here. Straighten out the right leg if you want a little extra here. 
press the calf down, flex the toes. One more deep breath. And exhale, let that leg come back into a neutral place, no sensation. Take the strap in your left hand and open to a straddle. Right hand can come onto your right hip. Keep it down. Open up that leg. Now remember, you can lower it down a little bit or take it up higher. You can place your bolster block on that side to rest your leg on if it's almost to the floor. Both shoulders are down. Take some deep breaths. Let's take one more breath. Exhale, let the leg come up. Let's go ahead and switch hands. So now we're holding it with the right hand. We're going to come across the halfway po point. So not letting the hip roll up yet. Find the position, low, high, medium, wherever it is for you. Shoulders down. Hips are still down. And let's take one more breath. Exhale, keep moving now, roll into your twist. I like to bump my hips to the left a little bit so that I can really stack up my hips. So now my hips lifted, my hips are stacked, my shoulders are both staying down. If you need to, you can bend that top leg and just rest your hand on your knee and put your toe behind your bottom leg. Shoulders stay open, left arms extended. You can lift to turn your head to the left. Start to surrender into your twist. If your foot's almost to the floor, you can always put a block under it or your pillow or bolster. And take one more deep breath in. On your exhale, start to engage the muscles as you rotate that leg back up. Bend your knee, release your strap. Go ahead and place it to the side. If you'd like, you can bring the knees into the chest one more time. Take some little rocking motion side to side. Massage your low back. We'll take just a couple of minutes here for final Shavasana. So feet can come down. Let's do constructive rest pose tonight. So walk your feet out a little bit so they're a little wide and then drop your knees together. So your knees touch and just bring your arms down alongside your body. Turn your palms up. That helps your shoulders relax open. If you have an eye cloth or eye pillow, you're welcome to use it here. And begin to relax, drop into your space. Soften through the body. Relax your mind.
And let's begin to deepen our breath. Start to move the body. You can bring the knees into the chest here again if you'd like. You can take a full body stretch, lengthen out the arms and legs. When you're ready, you can also stay. If, you want, if you'd like more time in Shavasana, you're feeling good here, stay where you're at. If you're ready to start moving, come to your side, gently work your way up. Come into your seated pose on your mat. Bring your hands to your heart center. Relax your shoulders. Close your eyes. Together, we'll inhale. Circle the arms up overhead. Palms touch. Exhale to your heart. One more time. Inhale. Open up. Peace, love, joy, and gratitude. Exhale, bring it into your hearts. Thank you so much for joining me on your mat today. Namaste.